Here's Brody Brazil. This is my product review of the Andenstar AD407 digital microscope. And you may be wondering, why would you, Brody Brazil, sports broadcaster and YouTube creator, why would you have, want, or need something like this? And I'll explain. It's simple. I've got a son. We're curious. We walk around the neighborhood. We pick things up in the front and backyard. We want to look at them more closely. Rocks, sticks, flowers, you name it, uh, we've put it under the microscope and just kind of checked it out. So I bought this out of an idea, something creative, and I can also see after using it how this would be a very valuable tool for like soldering, which I also do. Or if you were working on jewelry or electronics or something very small, you needed a closer up look. This is definitely something fun and useful to have. And that's one of my first things here, fun and useful. You could get this microscope, which I recommend, by the way. I'm making this product review because I bought it. I took a chance on it. Didn't know much about it. Didn't see it in person. When it came... Um, I put it through its paces. We've used it a bunch of times. I really think it provides value, but it's fun. And like I said, it's also useful. You have the opportunity to really get close to something and a view of it that you never would otherwise have with the naked eye. Now, I do have to tell you, most people think microscope and their picture is of viewing something at like the cellular level. This is not that type of backlit scientific microscope. This is a digital microscope, essentially a very long macro lens with the ability to focus close up. So you're getting a very in tight view, but it's not like down to seeing actual cells and things like that. But it does have great optics. I mean, for a couple hundred bucks, what could you expect for the screen, the lens, the lighting, the base, all that stuff? It actually looks really good. Whether you're watching it live on the 7-inch screen or you're putting it out through an HDMI cable or you're recording it on the micro SD card and watching it elsewhere, it gives you a pretty good picture quality. Quite honestly, for, for the price and usually a lens, you just you don't get that much um, from a lens for that price. But in this case, I do have to say it's it's well done. And I'm, I'm a camera person. I'm a video person, right? So I'm, I'm very critical about it, and I do have to say it it passes the test. I also like the fact, really like the fact, that you can take this microscope, either view it on the screen that is attached and comes with it, which is great, or you can also connect an HDMI cable uh, from the top of it out. By the way, it's not a micro, but it's a mini HDMI out, uh, so you may want to make an adjustment and get an adapter if, if you need one to a full size. Uh, but also, you can record all the video or, or still images that you want on an SD card. There's a button right on the screen, or you can use the remote to take care of recording or capturing. So everything that you put under the microscope, again, this is the, the coolest part, you're not just looking at it, you can live stream it. I've done that before. Or you can record it and play it back later. Let's talk about the specs, and this microscope is capable of recording video at 4K. However, I do need to warn you, it's only at 24 frames a second, which under this microscope and the way you're going to want to view things, quite honestly, you'll prefer to be at 60 frames a second, which is going to put you back down in the 1080 category, which is fine, again, for most people and what they're viewing and how they're, they're viewing it, 1080 is going to be more than sufficient. You can record on a micro SD card that goes right in the top of the monitor. It's built right in. It can take a card of up to 64 gigs. And again, recording pictures or actual videos from the things that you're, uh, you're looking at under the microscope. Minimum focus. What is that? It's how close you can get the front of the lens to the object you're trying to get in focus, right? So how close and near can you get to the subject, well, the answer is five centimeters. That's the minimum focus on this lens. Now, later on, I am going to give you a bit of a warning uh, about the depth of field, a very narrow depth of field. What does that mean? How might that limit you? Why do you need to know about that? I'll explain later on. But you can get five centimeters from your object, your subject, and get a good focus on it uh, with that lens. Those two LED lights, which are part of the base, they're attached and uh, they do have different brightness settings. And obviously, by moving them around, you can get the right lighting angle. Those are 
invaluable to have here on the microscope. Honestly, couldn't imagine having the microscope without it. When I was initially unboxing this and putting it together, I thought, I'm not sure if I'll actually use it. But what you realize is that to see something well, it needs to be lit properly with these lights. The fact that they're flexible and adjustable, it is just perfect that they are built in. And a 7-inch screen, like I said, you don't need anything else. If you just want this to be freestanding, everything you need is right on the LCD screen, including the fact that there are those buttons, controls along the bottom. Everything that's on the remote is also on the screen. So it's almost everything. So you can control this without even having the remote, without, with having nothing basically all on the bottom of the screen. I do prefer the remote so that when you're moving things around, you don't jiggle it by hitting the start and stop button. Um, but a good quality, you can see things in a pretty good resolution, all for the price. The camera, you know, the microscope, the monitor, the stand, for the price you're paying, uh, I do think this is a really good deal. So what exactly would this purchase be useful for? Now, if you're watching this video, maybe you're considering getting one and, and you're asking, well, does he recommend it? And yes, I do, but... I could see this in a lot of use cases like soldering, which I do, and I've done that before. You get a really close-up perspective of the joints you're making and the work you're doing. How about just evaluating things? Like if you were a, a, a collector of baseball cards and you really wanted to see the corners, are they sharp, the edges, the printing, you can get a very up-close view with a microscope like this. Quite honestly, if, if I was a baseball card collector or any type of card collector, this would be like a must-have. I've seen people use just a simple optical microscope. They put it right up to things. But to have this, to be able to take pictures with this, record video with this, again, for the price, it's, it's a must-have. Repairing things. I don't know how many times, you know, I've really had to strain my eyes looking in close to something and trying to figure it out using tweezers. But when you put work under this microscope and you're actually able to do the work and see what you're doing in a much bigger replicated size, there's nothing like it. And last but not least, exploring. Kids love this. I mean, adults, I love this too. I, I thought it'd be cool for me too, but uh, my son loves it and we just were able to put stuff under it and just kind of explore. Wow, I never saw that in there. What's What are those little white or black or blue or red dots in there? Um you could yeah, put roly polies under the microscope. We, we spent a lot of time doing that. I've got a lot of videos of those. Anyway, you understand my, my drift here. Uh, it's, it's purposeful in a lot of different ways, whether you're doing work or you're just having fun with this Andenstar AD407 microscope. Couple things you need to know here. The base of the microscope, well built, solid, uh, uh, you know, a hard surface. So you don't need to worry about putting anything on it or destroying it, but a little bit small real estate wise. And I do understand that since I bought mine maybe seven, eight months ago, they've come out with a bigger base version, like a pro version. So that's something just to know. But if you're getting the the root, the regular routine model, the base, it's it's serviceable, but it could be bigger if I could if I could give that input. The depth of field from the camera. Now, let me explain here. Depth of field is how much of an area depth-wise can be in focus. Similar to like aperture settings or iris settings of a camera, if you're familiar with that. So what, what I'm saying is you really sometimes need to work the focus ring of that, that lens to get things in shape. And it's, it's a task. It's a lot of work to get something in focus. And you may not be able to get everything depth-wise in focus. Uh, sometimes this is assisted by moving the lens farther away from the subject. The closer you get, the harder it is to get everything in focus. But what I'm telling you here is that some people have, have done modifications to the lens. There are other options out there to make it a little bit more wide, put more things in focus, have a wider depth of field. But the way it comes out of the box. And, and what's crazy, though, you may prefer this for some work and some things you're doing to get that real sharp tack sharp focus on something you'd want a narrow depth of field it's just that for others just understand that you won't necessarily be able to see everything layer wise all in focus at the same time the hdmi signal coming out of the microscope it's dirty now when i say dirty most people may not understand that's television talk dirty means that there's graphics on it uh, specifically there's the counter of the of the recording time in the upper left of the screen. Now that does not show up on 
the SD card recordings that you make uh, video wise, but it does show up on the signal, the HDMI signal coming out of the microscope. So even for my live streams, those are those numbers, those zeros are all included up there. I wish there was a way to take those off. There's not. I've tried. And I know I've tried because I've gone through the easy menus. I really like the way this microscope is set up. It's simple to understand and control. It's not it's not confusing. Uh, and again, all the buttons that you need are across the bottom of the front, but you can also use the remote. It is not a touchscreen, but it's still easily navigated and operated. So I got to tell you, when I purchased this, it was one of those things where if I don't like it or it's cheap or not well built or this isn't my thing, I'm instantly sending it back uh, because, hey, it's a, it's a couple hundred bucks, but at the same respect, I, I took a chance on it and I realized, yeah, you know what? This was a good buy and I would recommend this for more people. Uh, and you know what? If you're a content creator, a live streamer, you could have a whole channel on just, I, I thought about this. It's just, I don't know if it would do well with my, my audience, but you could do a whole live stream just looking at things. Be creative, find things, look at them up close. Anyway, giving away free ideas here, but the Andenstar AD407 Digital Microscope. Can't recommend it enough. And thank you for watching this video.